change. It's what happens here at San Juan Bautista. 53 years before California became a state, the Spanish settled here. 36 years before the gold rush, they forced Native Americans to build this mission. In 1821, Mexico gained their independence and took the land back from Spain. But then 27 years later, they gave it all up in the Mexican-American War. So many different people were flooding into this area. Histories change San Juan Bautista in many ways, but there's one historical change that's often left out. We're at the we're at the bottom half of the outhouse. Double decker outhouse. That's right. Uh, is double decker the correct word? Two story. Two story outhouse. To the east of the Spanish mission, behind the historic orchard, and in the direct path of the Plaza Hotel Bar, is the last remaining gender specific two story outhouse in California. Correct. I'm, I'm a little confused. So, how does this work? How does a two story outhouse <laughs> work if someone's on the bottom? On the top? So, the technology you mean? <laughs> uh -huh, yeah. Today, the outhouse is part of the Plaza Hotel at the San Juan Bautista State Historic Park. But before we get into the plumbing problems of the 1800s, you need to understand proper etiquette of the time. There was an expression in those days that called for mixed company to be separate. And what they're talking about mixed company is men and women together. The Plaza Hotel was built by Angelo Zanetta in the 1860s, and he wanted to cater to the idea of separating mixed company, and for good reason. At the time, San Juan Bautista was sort of a party town. The Spanish mission attracted all sorts of mixed company. Huge amounts of people having bullfights, cockfights, bear and bullfights out there. Needless to say, things got pretty wild. The Plaza Hotel Bar was one of the main sources of alcohol for Mexican cowboys. Not the best place for a lady back then. So essentially they could, you know, the women, you know, they didn't have to deal with the, the gross men. They could just walk out this door, walk down right here. Right into their own space. Now, I can't visually show you how it works because the wood is starting to rot away on the outhouse bridge. So you're just gonna have to use your imagination. So if you look, Kinda on the side, you'll see that it's not directly above the men's outhouse. It's so, right about here. So they're not they're not going on top of each other. Correct. Just to the side. Just so. to the side. Despite the lack of plumbing, the Plaza Hotel was considered high class, a five star hotel of its time, and disposing of human waste was a complimentary service. This is the actual chamber pot, or the potty. It looks like a big Starbucks bowl cup. <laughs> you, don't, you, don't, you don't want to drink out of this. One. No, you do not want to drink out of that. For your viewing pleasure, the Plaza Hotel proudly displays a number of potty options. But here at the Plaza Hotel, since it's a luxury space, you have the option of using both a chamber pot and an outhouse. Okay, uh, that's enough toilet history for one segment. San Juan Bautista is actually a delightful place to visit with loads of history, including all kinds of artifacts, a massive collection of horse carriages, and there's even a brief history on how members of the Donner Party ended up here. After they were rescued, they went to Sutter's Fort in Sacramento, then they left and continued to come to San Juan Bautista. And just in case you're wondering, yes, there is a modern bathroom. From the two-story outhouse in San Juan Bautista, I'm John Bartell. Hope to see you on the back road.